Hello, thank you once again for joining us. My name is Frank Mendez with waterdistillers.com. I'm very chemically sensitive. I do use the chemicals in an open area which has air flowing through it. And, uh, but in most cases, we're in Minnesota. So a lot of times you just uh, can't uh, leave your windows open. So what I do is this, I use vinegar. It's natural and, uh, and it's, you, there's no fear in using vinegar. I just go on out and buy a, a gallon jar of, of uh, vinegar. That can be any brand that you want to. Some people say you just pour the vinegar in there and I say yes. And take a look at the vinegar though. Uh, when you read it, some vinegar will say 3% vinegar. Some will say 5% vinegar. Okay, and uh, they may also label it as acidity, which is vinegar. So that means the other 95% or 97% is what? It's distilled water. So, you, so when you buy a gallon of, of vinegar like this, 97 to 95% of it is distilled water and the rest is vinegar. Open it on up, fill this up to, uh, to make sure it's unplugged by the way. Make sure your distiller's off because you really don't want your distiller to be on while you're going through the descaling cycle. Whether you're using chemicals or vinegar, it doesn't make any difference. Make sure it's off. In fact, I tell people so that someone doesn't turn it on inadvertently, unplug it. So you're gonna open this up, you're gonna pour your vinegar in there just above your heating element and let it sit there overnight. And this is uh, after, the question maybe is, well, when do I do that? Well, as you look inside your uh, distillery, you'll start seeing buildup. That buildup that would be inside your skin, uh, your eyes, your heart, is now inside that distiller. So pour this on in just above the heating element and let it work overnight on your, dis on your distiller. Now the next day, you'll take a look at it again and maybe it's not quite where you want it to be. It still looks like it has some buildup. Well, just repeat the process till you reach uh, till you reach the cleansiness or the descaling that you want to. This is a little, vinegar is a little slower process. It's healthier for me and better for me to use it, but there's at times when we have the right air circulation that I, we use the uh, descaler. The descaler works much faster. So it depends on your schedule and what you time that you have to spend on it, uh, what you may want to use. Also, I'll repeat this portion of it. After you've hit the desired amount of descaling on that heating element and on the bottom of your boiling chamber, then raise the level, use, use the pure vinegar. You don't dilute it because it's already been diluted uh, with distilled water. Fill it on up uh, to your high water mark. People say, well, how high do I take it? Well, on the inside of that boiling chamber, you'll see what the high water mark is and where the scale is built up and take it up to that area. It's a lot easier to clean these distillers with vinegar or chemicals than to clean up our heart, arteries, and veins and deal with kidney stones and gallstones and all those other things that come from water. Uh, those minerals do not come from calcium. You cannot make rocks out of calcium, but you can package the rocks that are in your water. This is Frank Mendez with waterdistillers.com. Drink distilled water. You'll love it and your body will appreciate it and your days will be better. Thanks again.